Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Photoshop. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about the Hue and Saturation Adjustment Layer. The Hue and Saturation Adjustment Layer is uh, mostly used by photographers to adjust uh, the colors of the image, making some colors more saturated and etc. to give you that perfect shoot. So first of all, we are going to click uh, here in this little icon and bring up the Hue and Saturation Adjustment Layer. And here we go, you have this uh, pop-up three slides, the hue, saturation and lightness. We are going to talk about each one of them. There is a lot of, uh, a bunch of things that you can do with the hue and saturation, like changing colors and uh, a lot of other things, but we are not going to talk in deep about that um, in today's lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we are just going, it's for beginners, we are just going to give you an idea about how this adjustment layer works. And then in the later uh, lessons, we are going to talk about it deeply and we are going to compare it with Vibrance and uh, other adjustment layers that uh, has the same function. So first, we are going to start with the hue. The hue means the color. If you change your slide uh, right or left, you are going to see the color of the, the hue and the color of the image changes. For example, let's slide from here and you will see how it changes. It looks like just creepy like that, but in some cases of uh, uh, changing the color of uh, any subject uh, to any other color, it is really, really helpful and we can uh, make it with the brush more perfect. We are going to talk uh, about that uh, deeply in the next lessons. About the saturation, the most important thing is the saturation. If you can see, the more we slide, the more the pixels get saturated. As you can see, but we, and we, if we do the, the, the opposite, as you can see, the pixel loses its uh, saturation until it gets black and white. Turn it here to zero, and then you can see. And here there is the slide of the lightness. If you can see, it adjusts the light of the picture, but me personally, I do not like to use uh, the lightness here at all because there is uh, a lot of adjustment layer like uh, like uh, exposure or uh, brightness and contrast are much better because here, as you can notice, as you can notice, it just uh, adds the the lights uh, for the whole picture. You know, it's not it's natural. Even if you did just a little bit, it's not natural, as you can see, it focuses on all the image. So I do not recommend to use it from here. Maybe there's people who can use it, it's up to them. Everyone has its own uh, method to work. So the, we are going to focus just on saturation. And as you can see, it makes the colors perfect. It's not perfect for the human being. So if you can see, if you compare the original, that's how it was and look how it becomes. Colors, trees, the water are more saturated. But here in this case, what we are going to do if you have, we don't want to affect this beautiful lady to destroy her skin or the look of her skin. What basically does the hue and saturation, it does not uh, give you, it gives the same amount or the same degree of uh, the saturation to all the pixels, but in every, picture there is uh, pixels that are more saturated than other ones which means we we have something to give us that uh, that view that uh, calculates and gives the pixels that are uh, high saturated a little bit or uh, making it in making it in the same level and adjusting and giving more saturation to other pixels that has uh, that are saturated uh, very bad or we can say very low so in here case we are going to solve that we have two main solutions for example i want to adjust this picture but i don't know to want to affect uh, the skin of this beautiful lady uh, we can use uh, the vibrance which we are going to talk about uh, in another uh, in another lesson which is a great great adjustment layer that uh, calculates uh, the the amount of the saturation in every, every picture and uh, in every pixel and it gives it the degree that it needs but in this case we are just going uh, to use the hue and saturation so we have another solution for example i will just adjust the hue and here i think uh, it looks perfect here around the beautiful lady then they will brush just on the lady to 
to make it as a layer mask so i will go in here i will click here and i will press command and i to make it invisible and then i will go to brush or just click b to bring the brush as you can see adjust the size of the brush but first if you are going to brush here for example we are going to be, if you can see we are making it visible the layer mask that we did are making it visible and we don't want to make it visible on the lady's skin so i'm going to hit command z to undo this they will go first to the selection tool i will select subject so i can select this uh, lady it did a really decent job but i'm going to make it a little bit of you here just adjust here and uh, now I think it's perfect sorry about that so what we are going to do now I'm going to hit select and click inverse so I'm going to affect just uh, uh, the other the background I'm not going to affect uh, the subject I selected because I, I already clicked the uh, uh, invert so I'm going to click B again for brush and then I will, be, I will make it bigger to make it easy for me and then I will brush visible on the areas that I want them to be visible. So for example, I'm going to start here. If you can notice, it became saturated. I didn't give it that much. I will add the flow. So make it more saturated. As you can see, it affects all the image, but it does not affect this lady because we mask it out. So as you can see, can make all these areas look really colorful and really good I think we are done here and I will show you the before and after to see I will hit command and D to deselect all it, everything I will click V to get back to a selection tool uh, to a move tool and then I will just show you what we did if we click here as you can see we did not affect the beautiful lady at all we just affected the background so you can see what we did with the hue and saturation we give more saturation and we make colors more colorful and it gives us this beautiful picture as you can see you can turn it on and off this was uh, the main role of uh, the hue and saturation there is a lot of uh, things that we can do with that uh, adjustment layer as I said but uh, as I already mentioned I'm going to talk in deep about that I will uh, make a lot of um, videos about you and saturation and also vibrance and show you the difference between them and then in the end you are going to decide what is suits you perfectly and what is not what uh, when to use vibrance and when to use you and saturation thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson